Hello. This video is a response to and an extrapolation of a conversation on the Young Turks Internet Show on Thursday, May 3rd, 2012. Cenk Uger and Richard S. Gao were discussing the next steps in the evolution of the Occupy movement. Both lamented the fact that, while it is conceptually powerful to have a grassroots movement with no leaders, and it can also be strategically important since its enemies are unable to target the character of a single spokesman and thus denigrate the entire platform, it also has its downside. Without coherent messages espoused by people who in some official capacity represent the protesters, it is hard to quantify OWS's specific goals, and without being able to define such goals, Occupy is too ambiguous for much of the larger public to rally behind. Long lists of grievances pale in comparison to a charismatic human voice that can articulate, educate, and debate. Escal proposed a committee of rotating leaders, each competent to represent Occupy's message, each perhaps an expert in one of the areas of advocacy, but each unburdened from being the sole spokesman whose performance could make or break the entire operation. Their suggestion was a committee of 15 or 20 people. My suggestion is similar but larger. There should be three rotating spokesmen of equal stature to represent every category that Occupy would like to address. The spokesmen can be chosen by direct democracy, their positions can be chosen by direct democracy, and there can be a new lexicon term for those who generally support OWS but who dissent from the stances of one or more of the spokesmen. To keep these representatives from becoming famous enough as media personalities that the message becomes about their personality instead of the issues, the spokesmen can be classified by numbers. I am spokesman number three from committee number eight. How many committees should there be? 33. 33 aspects of our lives that Occupy Wall Street would like to address or change. Three spokesmen each, 99 in total. And as this rotating group of spokesmen, speckled throughout the country, helps to inform potential recruits of the message of Occupy, each of them can begin by saying, I am one of the 99. Perfect imagery, with a group still small enough to coordinate its message, but large enough to carry the weight of the populace. Here are the 33 committees I'd like to propose. The legislation in state houses, split into two halves of the country. Gun policy. Issues within our military and defense budget. Immigration policy. Trade policy. Education, split into K-12 through and higher education. Our judicial system and the DOJ. Issues, including discrimination, of race, religion, and nationality, and of women's and LGBT rights. Workers' rights. Healthcare policy. Issues focusing on renewable energy, climate change, and environmental regulations. Science and technology issues. Tax policy. Financial regulations. Housing and urban development issues. Agricultural policy transportation and infrastructure policy, the conservation and defense of public resources, our foreign policy split into our dealings with the Middle East and with the rest of the world, civil liberties issues split into categories of the war on terror, privacy, and activism, including police brutality as it relates to peaceful protesters, drug policy, both pharmaceutical and recreational, Issues involving the vote, including the apparatuses themselves, our electoral system in general, and voter intimidation and suppression. Campaign finance reform. And the final three committees will be internal ones. Occupy Wall Street public and media relations. Occupy Wall Street scholars and historians to give context. And Occupy organizers, visionaries who will plan the movement's next steps and make sure it stays cohesive, peaceful, and accommodating. The committees will not all speak at once. Given that campaign finance reform is currently the most important issue, those three spokesmen may have a disproportionate presence in the media, and they will be joined with those speaking on behalf of other hot-button issues as they rise to the forefront. Together, these 99 people, or those that will rotate in to replace them, 
can give a message that nearly all Americans can easily process and recall, that we are the 99% fighting for equality, justice, fairness, democracy, accountability, opportunity, and the American dream.